Well, it seems unreal that uh, in about a week and a half, uh, we're going to be playing in probably the best preseason tournament there is in women's college basketball. Uh, it's a preseason WNIT tournament, uh, open up against North Dakota, who was an NCAA tournament team last year. And uh, we are excited about the opportunity to, to get the season underway and, and uh, to hit the court. And we have high expectations every year. Um, you know, we knew we knew we were going to have lower expectations losing REL early in the season. Um, but I think it's a great opportunity for us to catch some people you know, off off guard and uh, to be able to sneak up on some people. And uh, it's a different, a little bit different feel. You know, I feel like we're doing things just as well as we were last year at this time, maybe even a little bit better. And I think last year at this time we were ranked 15th. So, you know, it doesn't really matter uh, what you're coming into the season as. You know, obviously, Ariel's a very dynamic player. She's, uh, you know, I think defensively, the fact that she can guard two, three, four, five players, sometimes even the point guard last year. Uh, she can play a lot of different positions on offense. I think that's what we're going to miss most from Ariel, and then her competitiveness. Um, you know, but but the one thing with Ariel is she's still around, so she's still on the bench. Uh, you know, she's still in practice. She still is able to provide some of that competitive spirit, and her teammates think very very highly of her. And so when you have a teammate telling you to do something, a lot of times it's more powerful than if a coach is telling you to do the exact same thing. And so I think that's a great thing. Ariel has stayed very engaged. Uh, you know, she's going to be a coach for us on the bench and in practice and uh, going to be doing some really cool things this year. Definitely, but, yeah. The Pac-12 is uh, it's going to be tough this year, uh, but it's also exciting. You know, I think top to bottom, actually I know top to bottom, uh, it will be the best that it's ever been since, since we've been in the Pac-12. Um, you know, I'm not sure. I, I think whoever wins the Pac-12 will have three or four losses. I don't think it's a... It's a conference that, you know, somebody will go through and, and have maybe zero or one loss. Um, so it, it makes it exciting. It, it means that we have to be ready to play every night. And I think for competitors, it's fun. You know, as players, as coaches, uh, you know, you're playing at the University of Colorado to play at the to play against the best. Um, you're coaching at the University of Colorado to coach against the best. That's why I came here. Um, that's why our players came here and. Uh, I think this year, more than any, uh, we're going to all get that chance to, to play against the best in the nation, night in and night out, not just um, when we go to, the, to, to Northern California or when they come here. It's, it's going to be wherever we go uh, and whoever comes here. It's going to be fun for fans to see. Uh, the coaching in the league is very, very good. Uh, the players, the best players in the West are starting to stay in the West. Uh, they're not leaving to go to East Coast schools anymore, and I think that's exciting, and, and that's something that I know coaches in, in the Pac-12 have worked really hard um, to do is to keep those players around. Uh, the only bad part about it is that we have to play against all of them, but it's a, it's a great thing for our league, and uh, it's exciting, and, and uh, uh, we look forward to, to a great Pac-12 season.